Iran Air Force says all key equipment on Army fighter jets are upgraded. The commander of the Iranian Air Force says the military has upgraded the equipment installed on its fighter jets. Brigadier General Hamid Vahedi dismissed talks about Iranian fighter jets having become old, echoing the comments by the Iranian army chief, who said the fighter jets use the same shell, but the entire set of their key equipment has been upgraded, thanks to domestic expertise. Vahedi said the Air Force has specifically upgraded the navigation system, weapons, ammunitions and even instruments installed on its aircraft. The general further stressed that the army now has access to precision strike standoff missiles. These, he said, have been manufactured by the defense ministry using domestic know-how and have been tested in the four past military drills. Vahedi also said the Air Force seeks to buy Sukhoi 35 fighter aircraft from Russia, stressing that the final decision on the purchases will be made by the Army Chief and the Chief of Staff of the Iranian Armed Forces. The general, who was speaking to Iran's Borna News Agency, also talked about his recent visit to Pakistan. He said his meeting with his Pakistani counterpart focused on cooperation on technical issues, unmanned aircraft and electronic warfare. In addition, Yasin training jet production line goes on stream. Speaking at the inauguration ceremony in Tehran on Saturday morning, Iran's defense minister Mohammad Reza Ashtiani said, training fighter pilots is one of our key concerns, since the procedure is of utmost importance and involves training aircraft in different classes. The defense minister also said that the second prototype of the Yasin training jet, which was displayed on Saturday, was designed by professionals and specialists at the Iran Aviation Industries Organization, IAIO, years ago. The qualities of the homegrown training jet make it appropriate to be deployed for close air support of military aircraft against hostile targets, Brigadier General Ashtiani pointed out. Ashtiani stated that the majority of the sophisticated aircraft's military gear and equipment have been localized. For his part, Brigadier General Hamid Vahedi, who is in charge of the Islamic Republic of Iran Air Force IRIF, said, previously, our fighter pilots used to be trained abroad. The first sector affected as a result of the sanctions against our country was this field, which created difficulties for us in terms of training. Vahedi added, utilization of the new aircraft will make training duration more complete and shorter. In comparison to the initial prototype presented on October 17, 2019, during a ceremony in the Shahid Noj Air Base in Iran's western province of Hamadan, the current version of the Yasin training aircraft appeared to have been far more advanced and evolved in terms of tactics. The avionics, engine, landing gear, and ejection seat for the Iranian jet trainer were all developed domestically. Its Radom is equipped with aerial weather radar that was produced by domestic knowledge-based firms. Yasin is able to fly up to 1,200 kilometers and weighs 5.5 tons. The aircraft can land and take off at a speed of at least 200 kilometers per hour due to the shape of its wings. Iranian military specialists and engineers have achieved great advances in manufacturing a wide range of indigenous weaponry in recent years, allowing the armed services to become self-sufficient.